All right, so this is just a quick video of how I do my check for any air leaks on the trailer and on the tractor. The first thing I do before I do anything, I make sure I have enough pressure. Build up your pressure to where it's at its maximum. For mine, it's 125. The tanks are full. Uh, the brake was uh, the trailer brake's already released, and the tractor brake is applied. So right now, I'm currently just checking for an air leak on the trailer not on the tractor if you want to do it on the tractor just do the reverse of what you're going to do is you're going to have the the, tra the trailer brakes on and you're going to release the tractor brake and then you're pretty much just gonna have every noise that it's in the cab radio down everything down turn your your fan off and <coughs> just press your brake pedal and you're going to hold it down And you're gonna see right now you see that my air tanks dropped to a hundred you see how it's steady there it's not moving yeah you see it right there it's at a hundred and it's not moving that's what you want if it keeps falling then you know you have a problem you see right now mine is steady at a hundred and it's not falling that confirms that I don't have a air leak on my trailer and then when I'm checking for my tractor it's just the reverse of that where you apply the trailer brake and you release the tractor brake why could you do that without securing the wheel because you know they're connected so you don't have to worry about anything rolling away obviously if you're gonna check both at the same time I recommend you be on flat surface or have your wheels chalk but you really don't have to check both of them at the same time one at a time and you should be okay and that's pretty much it see right now I still have my my foot applied to the brake pedal and it's not falling if you have your tanks full and when you press the brake it just keeps falling all the way until your your low air buzzer kicks on then you know you clearly have a problem and it's for you to find out where exactly that problem is located before you can get a, it properly serviced and that's pretty much it